I'm proud of myself. Yes. You're doing great. You're to make me cry. You should be. I'm gonna push. Okay, I'm away. Legacy, the natural birth queen. Continuous fatal monitoring has been in question over years. While monitoring can be helpful in certain situations, it is definitely currently overused. Yeah. You're doing great. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome that you got to see her That's again. so funny. I know. I came in this morning extra. Really? Yeah, or we're on time this morning. And I was like, I wonder if my girl ever came back from the other day. And here she is. Yep. <laughs> You're like, Leah, is that you? <laughs> that was so funny. Continuous monitoring can even lead to more intervention. It has statistically been proven to lead to higher percentages of cesarean deliveries. So basically, I am in active labor finally. More people to come join the party, all right? Okay, well, are you ready to push? Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Intermittent monitoring is a better alternative and option for moms. Intermittent monitoring is when a nurse or a doctor listens to the baby's heartbeat every 15 to 20 minutes using a mobile device that allows mom to move around during labor without being strapped and connected to the bed. Okay, I don't think you're going to have to push much. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah, you are amazing. I'm about to cry because I just, I'm proud of myself. Yes. You're doing great. You're about to make me cry. You should be. I'm going to push. Okay, I'm away. Go ahead and push. Like, oh. Pull your legs, honey. Pull them back. Again, do it again. However, if you are not able to have intermittent monitoring during labor, here are some tips that you can use to ensure your labor progresses with continuous monitoring. There are several benefits to moving around and keeping it moving during continuous monitoring, even when you're on an epidural. Movement can help to progress your labor. As the baby's head engages with the cervix when you use gravity, making it easier for baby to move down in the birth canal. Keep it moving to progress your labor. You can make choices during your pregnancy and your birth. You are strong, you are powerful. You have the right to move around and try different positions when you are hooked up to continuous monitoring and even when you are on an epidural. Push. Yes, all that's down on your butt. That's it. All down on your butt. Push. All down on your butt. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Okay. Good, just like that. Come right back at it. One more. Really hard. You got it. Go, 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 go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, okay. ten. Good. Good job. Good. Push up the next thing. Right? Yeah. One more. Okay. Right there. Thank you. Oh, You're doing it. Your fingers out. You're doing it. Mommy, I'm waiting for you. Oh, wow. so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Good job, buddy. Yes, baby. Oh, yes. Eli. so good. Mm. Girl, that was so impressive. Uh, Very. Yes. 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 yes, baby. Mommy. Do you want to lift him up and I'll get this? Moving around and trying different positions will help you to feel more comfortable and in control of your birth experience. Here are some positions that you can do. When you are having continuous monitoring in a hospital birth setting, you can do the side lying position, the semi sitting position. You can also do kneeling on all fours. Advocate for yourself to your care providers that you want to change around your birthing positions. And for all my doulas and birth workers, it's important to advocate for your client. Let the care providers know that your client would like to move and change positions every 20 or so minutes. By empowering your clients to move around, 
during birth. It'll help them feel more comfortable during their birth and more in control of their birth experience. Okay, oh, you. you are so strong. Did you get some pictures? Mm. I'm not yet. I've did everything just okay. recorded. Mm. Just know that I am a champion. Yes, you are. <laughs> Shout out to the mama who is featured in this video, mental health mom, and her videographer, Beloved Bits. Also, shoutouts to Aaliyah for being featured in this video and her Instagram and her YouTube channel, The Dope Lee and Dope Lee the Aquarius. Doulas are needed. We're in an era where women are seeking information. They want to make informed decisions and they're reaching out online where they are on social media to find help. If you want to become a certified doula, you want to go through doula training, head to my Instagram at Legacy Along and DM me the words doula so you can learn how you can become a fully trained certified doula so you can help clients all around the world. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're new to this channel, click that red juicy button down below, down below. It says subscribe, it says subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful queens in the next video. <laughs>